If you're diagnosed with hypertension or high blood pressure, what can you do to lower your blood pressure? One is that you could do lifestyle changes. Uh, for example, you could go on a diet, uh, you could be exercising more. But those all effects are going to take a little bit longer in terms of the time frame. It's not going to happen in the short term, such as like 20, 30 minutes or so. In terms of the short term, what can you do? You can look at reducing the stresses, but the stresses are all around us, so it's very difficult to ignore all the stresses in our life. The other thing that you can consider doing is what we call a resonant frequency breathing. With resonant frequency breathing, you can lower your blood pressure down in about 20 to 30 minutes, and if you continue to practice that resonant frequency breathing for 10 to 20 minutes a day, it will help you in the long term as well. When you breathe in, the heart rate goes up. When you breathe out, the heart rate goes down. Resonant frequency breathing is the breathing rate at which the rise and fall of the heart rate is matched by the rise and fall of the breathing. In this example, the upper half of the graph is the heart rate variability. The lower half of the graph is uh, breathing. In both instances, you can see that the rise and fall is very similar. And if you consider the lower half of the graph, it's actually the breathing rate is about six and a half. Resonant frequency breathing helps with lowering the blood pressure. It also helps with the regulation of the autonomic system. That is the balance between sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. In doing so, we do not want to disrupt the body chemistry of 7.4. The minimal carbon dioxide level to maintain a body chemistry is 35 millimeter of mercury. Now let's look at the data from a case study. The initial blood pressure was 149 over 95 and the pulse was 78. After doing resonant frequency breathing, the blood pressure came down to 113 over 84 and the pulse came down to 65. That's a drop of systolic drop of 36 points, diastolic drop of 11 points and the pulse of 13 points. Resonant frequency breathing helps with the regulation between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. The fast Fourier transformation on top of the graph is extracted from the middle part of the graph, which is uh, the heart rate variability or beat to beat heart rate. The fast, fast Fourier transformation represents the uh, distribution between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system and contribution of it. For those who are more interested in depth, please do check out the internet. There's plenty of data on the internet that you can access to. The very low frequency range represents the sympathetic nervous system and the high frequency represents the parasympathetic nervous system. And the contribution from both the system goes to the middle, which is the low frequency distribution. So in this first instance, if we look at it, we look at that there's a lot more activity in the very low frequency zone and very little activity in the, um, in the high frequency zone. In this second graph, we can see that there's a very low frequency contribution from both of them. And if you see the peak is actually in the middle and you'll notice that the resonant frequency in this situation is about six breaths a minute. In this case study, we were able to fulfill the objective we set out at the beginning. That is, we were able to lower the blood pressure down fairly significantly. We were able to regulate the autonomic nervous system. That is the balance between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. And the lastly, we were able to maintain our body chemistry with a carbon dioxide level of 35 millimeter of mercury. How do you get to doing uh, resonant frequency breathing? Uh, step one is that you need to do quiet breathing. Step two is that the breathing should be through the diaphragm. Step three is that you need to get a pacer from the internet where you start pacing yourself with about let's see 10 to 12 breaths a minute and slowly work your way down to about six to eight breaths a minute. For most people, the resonant frequency breathing would be somewhere between six to eight breaths a minute. At this point, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Uh, please do subscribe so that we can produce uh, more videos in the future. Thank you.